Embrace is strange. Today's illusion is prey and predator. Not entirely a new idea to me. Convoluted. Somewhat of a struggle. Uh, you know what? Very much so a struggle. The figure of his body has split open. His abdomen is slightly swollen. Uh, spilling purple, yellow, and green beads. Three eyes look blankly on. The arms are raised in mild surprise and to express discomfort. In an odd way, I think this painting is maternal. It is a birth scene, but it's also, as the title indicates, prey and predator. The figure is a danger to itself. It is young as a threat. Mix them both. Um, I would say Blood Upon the Snow by Hozier, the mother forced to eat her young to survive. Paintings are sort of substance to me. <laughs> it's odd, I know. I think that's just how my mind works, though. A lot like um, Bobbin in Flesh, which is also a very strange yeah. painting, this turned out better than I had anticipated. The concept was, slash is, uh, very foreign to me. I wasn't confident about it at all with my initial concept sketch. I couldn't get the perspective of the onlooker and the body's dimensions properly. Yet, I did an absent-minded redraft, that's what you saw at the beginning. I thought it was sufficient enough for me to paint it, however, I struggled and nearly quit. I really wanted to quit. This piece looked hideous to me. I even took a break. I conceptualized this before the portion of the Egon Shile book that covered his relationship with his mother, and before I was so far into Thespoke Tharathrastra. I have such a hard time saying that, <laughs> as I am now. Um, so, it's just a harmonious sort of happenings that it worked out like it has. And since I'm back on my Egon Shile thing, aside from Gustav Clement's influence, he had a thing for, it's spelled with a J, but I think it might be Havanese, uh, Shadow Puppet Theater. It said he had one and he was fascinated with it. And I looked them up and they are very lovely. And now I really want to make one. Obviously not, you know, super authentic to Havanese or Javanese, however you want to pronounce it. But I can really see how they align. And I imagine that the one he had, because it was described as like grotesque, kind of had a very yokai look to it. Sort of, those are, yokai are very dark and enchanting things, but they're also um, very disturbing to me. In a way that other cultures, like mythological creatures, are not. Like the Kappa creature specifically, it has a turtle body, and it's just a, supposedly they drown people, and I'm just like, the details of it, it's like, the details really are what unsettle me the most. But anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.